An opportunity to play Infinity Nikki ahead of its release was announced, a brand new adorable life simulation title was revealed, and an offline version of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is in development. All this and more today. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, bringing you the latest gaming news with Sunny Side Up. Today is August 26, 2024, so let's get started with our first major headline. Infinity Nikki debuted a new official trailer at Gamescom Opening Night Live, which featured a very catchy musical number that has been stuck in my head ever since. Alongside this, it was announced that the Infinity Nikki reunion playtest recruitment is now open, so if you're interested in signing up for a chance to playtest the game ahead of its release, you can do so for PC and mobile platforms. This will be a wiped test, so you won't be able to keep any of your progress, but you can get a taste for the game if you're selected based on your questionnaire responses. It was also announced that pre-registration is officially open for mobile devices, and although I still have no idea how this game is going to run on a phone, if you're planning to play it in this way, you can go ahead and pre-register via the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store, or directly on the game's official website. With this news comes the kickoff of the global pre-registration milestone event, which will offer players a number of in-game rewards for collectively reaching specified pre-registration numbers. Finally, it was shared that an official release date will be announced in future updates, so we'll have to wait and see if that's anytime soon. An interesting new title was announced at opening night live called Linked Banner of the Spark. This game will blend elements from a variety of genres, from action-packed combat missions to relaxing town building and simulation features, all in cooperative gameplay with friends. The hack and slash style of combat looks really fun, and as you complete missions, collect materials, and enlist the help of robot allies, you can also build your perfect town. Further, you can take advantage of in-town systems like fishing and farming to gather resources that can be used to upgrade weapons, combat powers, and techniques. The customization and decorating system in particular is very appealing to me, and it looks like a high-quality title that will offer something different and unique. In terms of the cooperative elements of the title, you can join forces with up to two other players for the combat runs, but six total players in town through online play. You can trade resources and relax while building, decorating, and participating in town activities together. Linked Banner of the Spark will be released seen into early access on PC via Steam starting on October 22nd. While definitely not objectively cozy, the Little Nightmare series has appealed to many cozy and casual gamers in the past as a more approachable horror experience for folks to dabble in. And in case you didn't know, there is a third entry in the series that is in development. However, it is being taken on by another team, Supermassive Games. A new look at the third entry in the series was shared at Gamescom Opening Night Live. In this title, you'll fight against your childhood fears alone or with the help of a friend in a co-op or puzzle adventure. This title will be coming to the Xboxes, the Playstations, Nintendo Switch, and PC. However, if you want to play it for spooky season, then you will have to wait until next year because it won't be arriving until sometime in 2025. In a similar vein, Tarsier Studios, the developers behind Little Nightmares 1 and 2, actually revealed their next project called Reanimal, which is described as a spooky adventure with cinematic platforming, puzzles, and also co-op gameplay. In this title, you will play as a brother and a sister who are on a mission to rescue their missing friends and escape the island that they used to call home. However, as a warning, this title is said to be darker and more terrifying than the Little Nightmares games, so keep this in mind if you're interested. Now back to some more cozy highlights from the Gamescom edition of the Future Game Show, which included a new exclusive gameplay trailer for Caravan Sandwich, which also revealed the game's official release date being September 12th for PC, PS5, and the Nintendo Switch. Plus, a gameplay reveal trailer for a cooperative survival adventure title called Lost Skies was shared. This game is set atop floating islands and supports up to six players, so you can take to the skies with your friends and enjoy the journey together. Now it's time for our next major headline. A new super-powered fantasy life simulation game called Floatopia was revealed at Gamescom's opening night live and is on its way to PC, Xbox, PlayStation 5, and the Nintendo Switch in 2025. 
This title is set in the skies, in a world made up of unique miniature toys, with a very vibrant art style. Here you'll see residents that look like figurines, houses made from milk cartons, whimsical flora and fauna, and so much more. You'll travel atop your own floating island to explore various fantastical realms, which you can do on your own or with friends. There will be decorating, terraforming, fishing, exploration, and if you'd like to learn more about this upcoming title, I will have a dedicated video covering what we know so far down in the description for your reference. The team shared that their goal with this game is to offer a whimsical, heartwarming, and fantastical world through the continuous release of engaging, high-quality, and cross-platform content. They further aim to provide players with a relaxing and joyful dream vacation in Flotopia. You can pre-register for the game on their official website if you're interested and would like to stay in the loop, with this system suggesting that it could be a free-to-play title. Disney Dreamlight Valley's Dapper Delights update, Star Path, and Expansion Pass Act 3 launched with plenty of new content for players to enjoy. Tiana, her restaurant and meal stall arrived in Players' Valleys, along with new items in Scrooge McDuck's store, new weekly Dream Snaps challenges, and new premium items on rotation. A new type of furniture was also added, which allows you to interact with it to gather random villagers for a photo op, plus many quality of life improvements, cross-platform PlayStation Play, and more were added. I will have the update's full list of patch notes along with other relevant resources from today's stories linked in the description. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions shared a trailer for this gamified focus tool's next free update, version 1.4. Most notably, this update will feature two new spirits, 8-Bit and Flutterfrog, along with hundreds of new items to make your space even more your own. Plus, you will now be able to preview items before purchasing, new avatar and spirit activities have been added, you can also listen to new soundscapes alongside an entirely new playlist called Refreshing Study Sessions. This free update is actually out today, so if you've been enjoying this title, be sure to check out the new content. Halia shared a first look at the game's next patch, version 0.183, which is now called Sunset Soiree. This update will include increased building block and flower limits, a new Lily Rattan furniture set, huntable choppa plushies, collectible potato pods, searchable inventory features, and a series of new premium items, including a new pet. From what's been shown so far, it appears that this is another update that will likely focus on bug fixes and quality of life improvements with some new cosmetics sprinkled in. So nothing too major like questing or story content, unless they have something hidden up their sleeve. However, as always, it will be fun to check out all the new items on August 27th when it releases across available platforms. Lost and Found Co., the whimsical hidden object adventure game, shared that the team has added some fun office renovation mechanics so you can personalize your home base, choosing from a variety of options. I love this extra touch to what is shaping up to be an already phenomenal looking title. Plus, the game's Steam demo has also now been localized into 12 different languages, so if you've been waiting to check it out for yourself, now is the perfect time to do so. Now it's time for our final major headline. It was announced that service for the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp smartphone app will end on November 28th, 2024 at 3 o'clock p.m. UTC. However, they will continue to hold events and add items until the service end date. Additionally, the team shared that they are developing a version of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp that users can continue to play with their existing save data. This version of the app will be a flat fee paid app that you can transfer your save data to after the service ends. Basic gameplay and controls will be the same on this version of the app, however it will allow players to use all included features with the one-time purchase, meaning there will be no in-app purchases or subscriptions involved. The app also will not require a continuous online connection, which means that some features like visiting other players' campsites will not be available. Also, leaf tickets will not be usable and they will not be transferable to the new app, so if you're an avid player and have a supply of these, be sure to use them up ahead of time. Honestly, this seems like a great opportunity for fans of the franchise to try out Pocket Camp if the existing amount of microtransactions was previously putting you off. But we'll learn more details of this new app sometime in October, so stay tuned. I'm really curious if this development update has anything whatsoever to do with a potential new mainline Animal Crossing title. What do you think? 
Also, as a little bonus, three new Animal Crossing LEGO sets were revealed at Gamescom, including Stargazing with Celeste, Leaf's Caravan and Garden Shop, which also includes Poppy, and Able Sisters Clothing Shop, which also comes with Sasha. These sets will be launching in January 2025. Coming up this week, it's your last call for Palea's Summer Flutterfox plush, with your final chance to claim it as a free login reward on August 27th at 7 o'clock a.m. PT, ahead of the next Sunset Soiree update. For all of my variety gamers, Star Wars Outlaws, the first ever open world Star Wars game, is landing on Xbox, PS5, and PC via the Epic Games Store on August 30th. In this title, you play as Kay, who is accompanied by her adorable companion Nyx, as you explore distinct locations across the galaxy, both iconic and new. But what will you be playing this week, and what new announcements are you most excited for? Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Please make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on for weekly episodes of Sunny Side Up. Shine that lovely like button to help support the series. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and until next time, take care.